Okay. <clears throat> Good morning. How are you? It's a funny angle. For some reason, I've done this video a thousand times. Like my empties videos. And for some reason, it's just I can't get the angle right. I don't know. All of a sudden, it's like a different... I'm in a different um, time zone. I'm in a different... I'm on a different planet. I... My right ear is completely plugged. And it's like I'm underwater. And unfortunately... Jason Momoa is not there being Aquaman to help me out. Um, <clears throat> I am better than I was two days ago. Um, certainly better than I was five days ago. <clears throat> if you couldn't put two and two together yet, um, I did have COVID. I did finally uh, contract COVID uh, after living in the epicenter for two years um, and not ever testing positive for COVID and never having a cold and never sneezing and never having a cough. <clears throat> um, we finally had it in my house and um, it's very possible that we had had it before, but we just didn't know it. Um, but we've always socially distanced and we've always masked up when we were supposed to and we've always, you know, vaccinated when we were supposed to. And then it just kind of hit us like a freight train on Friday, Good Friday. Um, my son tested positive and so did my husband. And then one week later, I tested positive. Um, uh, my older son never tested positive and never really got too sick. Um, but he was sick about a month and a half ago. So it wouldn't surprise me if he was sick and then just didn't test positive. Listen, uh, this virus is like a completely bizarre like I said, on another planet. Um, it hit everybody in my house differently. And um, and we move on. And it's, you know, the there's a stigma attached to um, people saying that if they have COVID. Um, and I'm not sure why, because um, it's a thing. But honestly, I did not. Um, I, I don't know if I've ever been this sick, but at no point did I think that I was actually going to die. Okay, so then that's great that I experienced it that way. I know that a lot of people did die. Um, and I know that a lot of people do have long-term uh, lasting effects, unfortunately. Um, my husband is feeling a lot of brain fog, a lot of fatigue, a lot of frustration. Um, and I'm hoping that I don't have that because I'm the mom. So I can't really afford to do that. But anyway... Um, it is what it is. I quarantined for five days and now I'm still not allowed to go back to work to my day job, my massage job, until May 2nd. Um, that's just their company policy. They're a private company. Um, where I work is not even a public place, but th these are the rules that they put into place and I am, will follow them. And unfortunately, I'm probably going to be losing some of the traction that I had gained um, as a massage therapist. You don't just walk into a job and you're just busy right away. <laughs> you have to gain a reputation. You have to gain a following. And I had gained that following. And then all of a sudden this happened. So now I'm going to have to regain my following again, which is a little bit like starting from scratch, which is a little humbling, but Hey, I did it once. I did it back in September and now I'll just have to do it again. Hopefully it won't take me as long to, you know, build up the following that I had. Anyway, here is my empties video. Okay. Um, these three, Technically are empty, but I did not warm any of them. I sampled all of these out to my local customers. So let's talk about cocoa lime, which is very nice. I have warmed this on its own by myself. And it is very nice. And by the way, I did not lose my sense of smell, but everything is just a little bit skewed. So I have the Mother's Day fragrances over there. And I'm dying to try them because I did open up the clamshells and they smell fan-fucking-tastic. But I'm just a little nervous that I'm going to be wasting the wax right now I have all of my windows open because I'm trying to blast all the germs out of my house right um probably tonight I will warm those anyway coconut milk creamy vanilla get energized with citrusy citrusy splash of lime coconut lime is fantastic I wish it lasted a little bit longer but when you first put it into the warmers it is fantastic okay coconuts for coconuts which is a weird title. Um, oh, and because I'm not allowed to work, I am growing my nails just a little bit. And you know what's funny? Getting back to the COVID thing. I tried to explain this to my husband and it ended up being that I was explaining the story and it ended up being too long. And I'll do it for you. 
because you guys appreciate my videos. <laughs> I equate getting COVID in a way, almost like when you get a power outage. Okay, so you lose the power in your house, right? And you go to flip on the light and there's no light, right? And the light doesn't work because there's no electricity. So then you say, okay, I need a flashlight. So then you go to look for the flashlight and then you go to turn on the light to look for the flashlight. <laughs> so my, my boss tells me that I can't go back to work until May 2nd. I was just like, oh shit, oh cool. I'll go get my nails done. <laughs> then I'm like, asshole, you can't go get your nails done. You're quarantined, dummy. Anyway, so I've just been um, throwing some um, you know, top coat on there just to see how long I can grow them in 10 days. Anyway, Coconuts for Coconuts is an ocean breeze weaves along a coastline lush with wild coconut and tiara flower. This is a very nice wax. It's, um, it's not too coconutty for me. Um, it's just not something that I like to warm in my house unless it's like real true summer month. So, um, I did warm through one bar of this when I first got you know, the wax, um, but it just wasn't that great. Great in a bathroom, great in a, like a small bedroom or something like that in the kitchen, eh, whatever. Okay. And then, um, you cannot beat French lavender. French lavender is fantastic. It was gone for about a year and a half, something like that. And then it came back. I have, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to show off this light. Hold on. That's better. This way I don't have like, that light there, but at least I don't have the overhead light. Anyway, um, I was really disappointed when they took this away and now it's back. And ironically enough, they brought back French lavender in wax, but then they took it away in the essential oils. What the hell is that about? Anyway, French lavender is described as pure herbal fragrance of wild lavender from the hills of France. Anyway, love this one. Love this one in the, in the room spray. Oh my gravy. Wonderful. Okay. Um, blue Scentsy Bar from the Chase Rainbows Wax Collection. This was okay. It was a little too aquatic for me. Um, not aquatic. Um, I, it just, uh, it was weird. I think I wanted it to be aquatic. Let me smell it again. Hold on. Yeah, it's, it's aquatic, but for, I did it. Uh, Sweet notes of melon shimmer against a crisp blue sky while hints of musk add depth and dimension. It's got the musk. It smells aquatic to me. Uh, technically, there's no aquatic notes in the description. Uh, out of the five, I did. Uh, this wasn't really my favorite. That's why it took me the longest to get through it. I think I sampled a couple of these out to my customers. Um, yeah. The orange one and the green one. Get the orange one and the green one, and you can actually mix those two together. Anyway. Um, just breathe. When I um, tested positive. I put Just Breathe in all of my warmers because I was like really afraid that I wasn't going to be able to smell anything. I thought like instantly my my um, sense of smell was going to go away. Never did really. But anyway, I love Just Breathe. I hadn't warmed it in a really long time. Breathe deeply as soothing eucalyptus, zesty lemon, and a medley of mints comfort and rejuvenate. I love Just Breathe in the laundry. I don't know if it's still available in the laundry. I, I could look it up, but that's, you know, the easy thing to do. That's the right thing to do, and I'm too lazy. Just Breathe is fantastic. Just Breathe, again, is really good in the room spray. Just Breathe is really good in the car to freshen up your mask. So I wish they made Just Breathe in the pet line. They had tea tree and peppermint in the pet line, and then they took it away. I stocked up, though, because that was our favorite one. Okay. Pods. Um, I'm back on pods. I have been using pods a lot in both my air purifier and my car in the mini fan diffuser in my car. And I did go through a twin pack of Disney Princess True Love Awaits. I'm not exactly sure why I bought these. I think it was just because I was turned on by the fact that we finally had Disney sent in pods. Um, cause now we have like, they come and go now. Now they Marvel and they're going to come up with the Mandalorian, whatever. Enter a kingdom where enchanting ripe raspberry, sparkling Mandarin, and a kiss of sweet vanilla write the perfect fairy tale ending. Okay. So I love raspberry and I love vanilla. This was very mild, very pale. I would not get these again in this fragrance. I did like this in the wax. Um, but these were very mild. You can, even though technically these are exhausted, you could totally throw them into, you know, your uh, panty drawer or something like that, and they still have a little bit of a fragrance. You can also just leave them in the bottom of your purse. 
This one took me a long time to get through because it just wouldn't die. Lavender cotton. Um, find your magical moment in purple lavender, soft cotton, and daisy blossom. <sighs> It's just okay. It was good in the car. It was f refreshing, sort of. Refreshing in the car. Hold on, I'm going to have to take a sip of water. <clears throat> uh. Anyway, this was a refreshing cotton fragrance. Not sure how that works, but it was. Um, just okay. Didn't turn me on that much. Right now, I have squeezed the day in my car, and oh my God, I love it. I've re regenerated, re rejuvenated with my love of squeeze the day. Um, I have a Cloudberry Dreams, um, disc. Smells like absolutely nothing. I'm going to be throwing this out. Sometimes I keep them in the bottom of my purse or in my drawers or something like that. Um, but this one really is exhausted. There's absolutely nothing there. Cloudberry Dreams is sweet raspberry and a whisper of rose soar through billowy bursts of peach and vanilla. Which sounds great. For some reason, I'm really not liking it in the wax. Um... Blue Grotto Counter Clean in the old style. The new Counter Cleans are much with, with much prettier packaging. It's the same shit though. Run away with fresh tropical notes, sweet citrus, and lush botanicals. Blue Grotto in Counter Clean is fantastic, especially when you put a tablespoon or two of bleach in with it. I know that that technically, since he says you don't have to do that, but that's what I do. Um, and then a lot of times, what I do, I just didn't write it on this one. I I write with bleach right on the thing so that people know even though there's not enough bleach that it would like stain your shirt or you know uh, bleach your shirt or anything like that I if you sprayed it right onto your clothes I guess it might but like I do my house cleaning and stuff like that and I just put like with bleach and um then I feel like it becomes a little bit more of a disinfectant antimicrobial blah 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 anyway finished a blue grotto counter clean uh, let's go with the shimmer. I've got a couple of things in shimmer. Um, I have little garbage pails all over my house. I have one on top of the litter box. I have one in each room of my house and I buy these little plastic bags. In other parts of the country, you can just go grocery shopping and save those plastic bags. But in New York, we don't get those plastic bags anymore. Um, we have to bring our own bags or else they have paper bags. And paper bags aren't really good for lining your home garbage pails if you have poopy doopy cat litter so anyway i actually buy plastic bags from amazon now i'm con it's a conspiracy i'm telling you anyway and so what i do is i have a scent pack at the bottom of every little garbage pail in my house and every time i have to get a new roll of garbage bags i change out the scent pack and it wor works out it works out to be about 30 days and this still has a little bit of fragrance. I might throw this in the bottom of my purse. I'm not sure. Um, but this was in Shimmer. This was very pale in the scent pack. I'll be honest with you. I have Shimmer in other stuff that it smells a lot stronger, especially in the wax and, you know, whatever. Um, and I think I had the body mist. Anyway, uh, Shimmer is fantastic. Okay. Uh, get your girly girl on sweet cherries, velvety apricots, and central white musk crowned with a tiara of shimmering spun sugar. If you guys were with Scentsy, if you were either a customer or a consultant in the spring of 2017, was it 2017? Yes. Um, they offered us, instead of spring bricks, which I'm wondering if that's on the horizon. Hello, Scentsy, because it's already April. Anyway, they offered us sugar brick and shimmer brick. And those two goddamn bricks together were the best thing ever. <gasps> oh, my God. I wish I had, like, stocked up. And it was, like, the two of them together was 40 bucks, I think. So it was $20 each. Anyway, <gasps> sugar shimmer bricks. I, I'll always remember that because, also, that was a really great time for Scentsy. Spring of 2017 was fantastic. Anyway, um, I went through those two and then I replaced that shimmer scent pack with a snowberry scent pack, which is not the strongest scent pack in the world either. Um, where are you? Snowberry, where are you? Don't tell me that I didn't. No, here it is. A luscious blend of loganberry, strawberry, peppermint, and zesty cinnamon. How can I forget? It's one of my favorites. I just don't know the notes offhand by, you know, um, whatever. By heart. Perfect peppermint. This is another one that I warmed when I um, had got my positive uh, COVID results uh, because I got paranoid. I had one of these left over. This was, uh, this is how I um, 
do my samples for my local customers because this is a full cube and then I make a bunch of them. So if I was making a full cube of, you know, a full batch of samples for my local customers, I would just make eight of them, right? And then I make up the little label and blah, blah, blah. So Perfect Peppermint is exactly that. It's just peppermint. Um, I can't get the bag open, but that's all. It's not, it smells like peppermint. It smells like toothpaste, okay? Perfect in a bathroom. Absolutely perfect in a bathroom, um, but a little pale. And right now I cannot use two cubes in my bathroom because I have a very small, I have a mini warmer that can't handle two cubes in the dish, in the divot. So unfortunately this wasn't quite enough for my bathroom, but if you had a regular size, you know, a standard warmer and you put two cubes of that, it would have been perfect. Okay. <clears throat> Vanilla mint room spray. This was used in my litter box. So I put, I put a cup, I open up the lid of the litter box. I put a couple of sprays for me. I scoopy de boobies. And then I put a couple of sprays for the cats. And then I put the lid back on the litter box. So one of these lasts about a month, maybe about six weeks. Um, there's a lot of sprays in each room spray, a lot. Wintergreen frost sparkles over vanilla and frozen citrus. This is really kind of perfect in a litter box. It has just enough mint that it covers up the poopoos and then the, Citrus just lingers a little bit longer than the mint does. I would not use something like vanilla bean buttercream or like um, Welcome Home. I wouldn't use cinnamon. I wouldn't use sugar. I wouldn't use bakery in a litter box, but mint and citrus is fantastic in the litter box. I would also stay away from stuff that's too flowery, like Lush Gardenia or something like that. Do they make room spray Lush Gardenia? Anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, this is absolutely perfect in the litter box. So... If you have something left over from the winter, like I'm snow over it or silver bells or something like that, try to use that in your litter box too, okay? Um, honeymoon hideaway. This took me a long time to get through. I was just trying to get through some of the bars that I had <clears throat> left over from Bring Back My Bar last year or something like that. I ended up with three or four of these and I put in my Scentsy Club because I thought that people were going to want it. <clears throat> And they don't. And now I'm realizing that I really don't like Honeymoon Hideaway. It's not my favorite smet, smet, scent. Escape to a secluded retreat of dew-kissed lily and tart sweet kiwi shaded by lush coconut palm. Uh-uh, no way. Don't like it. Took me a long time to get through it. Um, one or two cubes here and there mixed with other stuff. Never really could warm it on its own because it just didn't turn me on. And it's a honeymoon hideaway. It's supposed to turn in. It's, I know. Gr Gridiron Rush is so good. I have like three bars of this. This ended up getting very juicy on me, ironically enough, even though it's a clear wax. I mean, it's white when it's cool. And then when it warms in the dish, it's clear. Um, usually the stuff that gets juicier is like the red stuff, the blue waxes, that kind of thing. Um, supercharged citrus and crisp apple set the stage for game day on the gridiron while a dash of fresh cut grass and sleek sandalwood surge into the end zone this is a great wax in fact i put it into my warmers oh it's like four or five weeks ago put it into my warmers around five o'clock at night my husband came home at eight o'clock and he was just like it smells so fresh in here now listen my husband couldn't give two shits about sensi okay other than the fact that it brings money into the house and it got him on a mediterranean cruise a couple of years ago um, but when it makes an impression on him, it turns me on. It's like, okay, now this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. And that's not really why I'm doing what I'm doing. But you know what I mean? <clears throat> a lot of you will understand that when your husband, you know, acknowledges it, it's just like, yeah, that's why, that's why I like this shit. You know what I mean? It's just a little acknowledgement that what you like isn't just all silly, froofy, you know, shit. Anyway, whatever. We're almost done. I actually mixed these two together on Easter. And it was great. Technically, half of my house was, was had COVID on Easter. <laughs> my Easter sucked this year. Um, I didn't get to see my mom. I didn't get to see my brother. I didn't get to see any of my family. Uh, we were, technically, I wasn't, and my older son wasn't quarantined, but the other half of my immediate family was, so we all stayed home, and we ordered a ridiculous amount of Caribbean food. <laughs> Because I was going to go, I was going to go over to my brother's house who's going to make lasagna. Anyway, um, so Candy Dandy, almost sweet enough to eat. Kids will go gaga for this delicious scent, candy scented concoction of mango, lemon drops, and creamy vanilla. I wish they still had this. Think, okay, the, the, the scent sugar is supposed to be spun sugar and lemon drops, I believe. Think of it, it's like this one, but a little bit more lemony. 
oh, Candy Dandy is fantastic. And then you mix it with Rock and Ruby Raz, which I have always loved Rock and Ruby Raz. Even when it was in the catalog in the kids line, I love Rock and Ruby Raz. Uh, fruity blend of orange, juicy orange, fresh strawberry, and sweet candy glaze. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, Rock and Ruby Raz is so good. Mmm. I love it. Anyway, this was from the uh, Easter collection two years ago or three years ago. I can't remember. And I still had both of these. And oh, the, these two together on Easter was so great. It was like warming a Christmas fragrance on Christmas. It was, uh, uh, it was so perfect. Anyway, last one. Speaking of I'm still over it. This was very bland. Okay. Sage, whispering pine, cedarwood, bright berries. <sighs> Kind of all of those things, but take it and like drop them down to a level one. <sighs> so boring. I'm snow over it. I'm snow over it. It was not, um, did not live up to the expectations that I have for wax. Anyway, so there it is on my iPad now. Um, that's my empties for uh, today. Today is Wednesday. April 27th, and I am out of quarantine now. So I, I am going to be making a couple of Scentsy deliveries today, and I told both of my customers that I don't really feel comfortable, you know, directly handing off with them. Um, I know technically I'm not supposed to be contagious anymore, but y you never know. I, I would hate to get somebody sick. Hate, hate, hate it. Um, so there it is. I hope you all have a great day, and don't worry, you won't catch anything by watching this video. <laughs> Bye.